Hello everybody, welcome back into another video. It's been a while, it's been a while since I've sat down and recorded something, but today we're going to be looking at the newest e episode of The Man in the Suit. So, um, just four days ago, I didn't actually, I haven't been able to have time to record these unfortunately. So, four days ago there was a new episode, the Ghidorah Suit Incident 1964, so we're going to be having a look at that, so... Um, be excited, grab some popcorn, you know, turn all the lights off, get it all sabuki and that, and, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Right, now I'm gonna be honest, guys, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make my lights any re redder than they are now, because my thing don't work, my LED controller don't work for some reason, either that or it's broken. Um, so we're just gonna have to stick to the lighting that we've got. I am gonna turn down this a little bit just so it's a bit spookier, but yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so we have uh, Unknowingly's channel up at the moment, so let's get into this. Oh, okay, don't start it just yet. Chill, let me full screen it first. Calm down. Let's get into it. So we have it starting off with one of the original Godzilla movies, I'm assuming. Gidra? Gidra? Do you mean Oh, uh, this- so this is Ghidorah before, you know. Is it just me or is the audio all static and stuff? What is going on? Toho decided to be more careful and cautious during filming their next film. Okay. So this is after all the situation with obviously the Godzilla suit, the Rodan suit and the Mothra suit, I think. Tom wants to make a semi-puppet semi-suit. Their reasoning for this is to possibly confuse the man in the suit. Okay. Interesting. So I've been testing with new materials, materials that would resist heavy damage. Okay. So the man in the suit can't just bite, bite through the things. These materials consisted of blah, 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 and blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, no. Redacted. You know how it be. The lower body would have this toughened material. While the top half? The head and the neck, however, were made for puppeteering, meaning they wouldn't be made of this material. So those would be the parts that are most at risk. How long is this, by the way? I didn't check. 10 minutes and 40 seconds. Okay. Most of the kaiju that were in the film were puppets, learning from their mistakes from last time. The lava from Mothra was now a puppet. Okay, okay. This time I will intervene. Intervene with Shotgun. Ah. They're not gonna shoot the man in the suit. I know it sounds risky to go to a workplace with a shotgun, but this thing needs to be put down once and for all. So they are gonna go and shoot the guy who's controlling Godzilla. Or the one who thinks that he is Godzilla. Or it is Godzilla. His appearance changes, I'm not sure how. It might be Toho's doing. Or maybe he can just malform himself. Toho's team are incredibly confident about this plan. Oh, I don't like how static it's getting. Not too big of a fan of that. However, their confidence was put to the test. Okay. When? When what? Oh man. They only had one last thing to film. The man in the suit was behaving properly because of heavy security. That's good. Damn, they're just treating whatever entity is in that thing like an animal at this point. 
Oh. The man in the suit couldn't possibly take a bite out of the suit actor because of the toughened material. I don't know if this is my Wi-Fi is doing or computer. However, they have forgotten about one thing. What? The neck? The neck and the head? According to how it was built, the neck and head were most vulnerable parts. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Neck and head were supported by the suit actors. On the head. Ooh. Excuse me, sorry. There's a contraption that makes it so the suit actor would pull on a level to open the mouth of Ghidorah. Okay. Also, I don't know if you guys say Ghidorah or Jidorah. I don't know what the stand is with that. One of the last shots, the man in the suit would just stay there, not moving. But I'm guessing that's not what happened. Then he would start to shake violently. And then shoot out his atomic breath. Ooh. The team on the set tried to do something, but the suit actor for Ghidorah got too close. Oh, no. Damn, they're having a Ghidorah man in the suit situation? Back onto the head of Ghidorah. Oh, no. Why is it always the heads, man? I guess it's a quick death, right? but you know, Jesus. Ooh. That's not very nice of you, Mr. Godjira. Godjira, or however you say it. The man in the suit would puke the same red boiling substance from before in the, Gado in the Ghidorah suit's head. Oh, that's how Mothra, or was it Rodan or Mothra? I haven't caught up with the series in a minute, so. This acidic substance ran through the suit actor's arms that supported the neck. Oh, no. Something always goes wrong with this, doesn't it? This is when I started to enter the studio, however, some of the workers there were confused. So this is a previous worker or a current worker that's going to kill the man in the suit? <laughs> they might be confused about me bringing a guitar case, the shotgun I bought being inside of it. Uh, it's a good mask for a shotgun. I'd advise no one in the, watching this video to do that though. They stopped me and asked me, where have you been? Buying a gun? <laughs> I asked, wasn't I fired? Okay. You never were, they replied. I don't recall the events of the last episode, sadly enough, so you guys are going to have to maybe try fill me in in the comments just so I can jog my memory a bit. What's going on there? As I barged through ignoring their comment, I realised that the set that we're building had a power box in the room. Ah, uh, okay. He must have noticed me because after picking his acidic blood in the head of the Ghidorah suit, he pulled the power box. He faced the power box. Oh, it happened so fast. What happened? Oh. Oh, God. Oh, I'm not liking the sounds of that. Oh, hell to the no. Bruv, you have a shotgun. Ooh. Oh, hell no. He shot it.
Ooh, okay. It's dead, right? Yeah, it's definitely dead. It's no way it can regenerate. It's not going to regenerate. <laughs> Crazy talk. It's not going to regenerate. Uh. Oh, hell no. Ew, what is that? Oh, you can see his eyeballs. Eh, brother, eh. What the hell is that? What is that? What is that? It's, what is that? It's moving. Is that the man in the suit? What? Wait, is this, is this the, is the, are those the spines? That's gotta be the man in the suit, right? Or is this a person? Oh, it's Ghidorah! Oh, no. I don't know what that Japanese says. Hold on, wait, is that what that was? First head, second head, third head. Yeah, this is Ghidorah. Oh my god, okay, so this is after the man in the suit puked the acidic blood. Let's see if anyone's translated the, the Japanese. Let, let, me, let me have a look. Transition, you can't kill God. Interesting. So I'm guessing that's this. Yeah, seems like it. Damn, bro. That's crazy. Wow. Interesting. Hmm. Wow. Well, that was the newest episode of The Man in the Suit or Godzilla Analog Horror, whichever you prefer it to be called. That was really interesting, actually. So... Obviously, we see that the man in the suit is very much invulnerable by the looks of it. Bro's just got his head shot off and he's like, eh. It's just a light scratch. And then, so we've got Godzilla, Rodan, if I remember correctly, Mothra, which I'm interested to see. And now we have Ghidorah, which gave Godzilla a run for his money in King of the Monsters. So. I'm excited to see how that kind of plays out in terms of the, the you know, the lore of this series, I guess. Um, so it's cool that this is still ongoing and everything. I'm really enjoying it, to be fair. But yeah, let me know in the let me know in the comments below what you guys think of it. Uh, I don't think I've done other videos. I didn't do other videos on the previous videos. I think I watched people reacting to it. So my bad on that. But I'll um, I'll hop on the wagon for it now. And start reacting to it for you guys so um, cheers for watching this video and i will see you in the next one i'm sorry that videos have not been very frequent as of recently i've been pretty damn busy with a lot of stuff so um allow me to get back into it uh streaming will be a different situation because that takes longer than youtube videos does um so i will be sure to let anybody in the discord know um about what's going to be happening next and such so yeah keep an eye out but thanks for watching i'll see you guys later peace out